And you want to do it with me? I'm just saying, are you married? Okay, see, here's what no, we're about to do. Just, no, here's what we're about to do right here. No, 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 because you want to you wanna no, no, tell no, no. women. I want to tell your stupid ass to stay off my channel. See, you get these bonnet fools in these four-year dead-end relationships who get mad because ain't nobody going to marry them. Uh, I'm going to make an announcement. Hello? Hello. How you doing? Hey, how are you? Fine. How old are you? 35. All right. So we're here to talk about dating costs or two over three. What do you got? Um, I want to talk about dating costs. Okay. Are you single or are you married? I'm single. Any children? Yes. I have three girls. Oh. You got to hold the phone steady. Um, what do you want? Um, I mean, my issue is I work too much. That's my issue. I work a lot. I'm always at work. Mostly 12 how, hours a day. How, how old is your youngest? 13. How many hours a week are you working? Um, I work about five days and I have two days off. I co-parent with her father. How many hours a week are you working? Um, almost 45. Yeah. Got a normal work week. Yeah. You said that's the problem. Ain't the problem. I, I want to hear at least 80. So if working ain't the problem, what is it? Um, I'm trying to figure that out. I'm not sure. I mean, I put myself out there, you know. Um, well, what can, what's the outcome that you want? Um, I'm looking for companionship. I'm looking for marriage. You know, I have some standards, you know. Have you been married before? I've been engaged twice to the same person. Engaged the queen, time, Joe. <laughs> the first time I was honest, you know, I told him I wasn't ready. And the second time. Why marriage now? I felt, I'm being honest, I felt at the time I wasn't ready at the time. And now okay. I'm ready. How tall are you? I'm 5'4". Dress size? I'm sorry? Dress size? My dress size, I would say 14. How much did you weigh last time you weighed yourself? Um, well, I actually weighed myself today. I was 213. Okay, so your man... Is three hundred and fifty five pounds. That's the way you need to start looking for men. Three hundred and fifty five pounds or more. Why would you say that? I'm just curious. Because you're two hundred and thirteen pounds. So you saying I have to lose weight to get the mm -hmm. ideal man that I want? That's what you're saying. I'm saying you're not the ideal woman that men want. You weigh more than a man. That's why two 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 dot three, y'all. 213 pounds of 5'4". I'm very confident. I'm very confident. How tall are you again? I'm care. sorry? How tall again? I'm 5'4". 5'4". Ma'am, you are 35 pounds over the average weight for the average black woman, and she's 60 pounds overweight. Okay. So, you asked. Thank well, I you. can't. So, men who are looking to marry. Okay are not looking for women that weigh more than they do. Okay. They want to be able to carry them across the threshold. Okay. I'll work on that. Well, I mean, yeah. I, used, I used to be physically fit, but um, when I um, I started um, driving buses maybe about mm -hmm. four years now. Okay. So, you know. What was your last relationship? My last relationship? Well, actually, my last relationship was maybe about, I want to say last year, maybe around November. How long did it last? Not very long. You what know, was your, what was your my, last relationship over two years? My last relationship over two years was in 2017 when my fiance proposed to me. The fiance is the father of one of your children? No, he's not. I met him in um, 
in school. You know, we, we so reconnected got, from. But you got three media. children, but how many different, different men? Two, three? Three. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is what men don't seem to understand. How women can go out and have one, two, three husbands because it used to require a husband to have a baby. Right. So you should have one husband, two husbands, three husbands. Was right. the was the person who you had your first child with, was he the person you lost your virginity to? Um, there was a circumstance that there was, was the a person you something. Was, no, not just mm-hmm. the person you had your first child with, yes. was he also the person you lost your virginity to? That's just a yes or no. No. Okay, so the person you lost your virginity to should have been your husband. Correct. That's four. So you should have had one, two, three, four husbands. So you effectively you're out here at how old again? I'm thirty-five. Thirty-five. And you would have been married four times. You would have had one, two, three, four husbands to not be a virgin to have three children. Well, can, three I be, can I be can I be No, 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 let me let, okay. let me let me let me finish. This is what this is how human beings have evolved. Yeah. Okay. Just because we make it okay now, still men are saying for a woman to have three children by three different men, that needs to be three husbands. Right. And she had a, she had sex. That means the man she married should have been a husband. So right. you're looking for a fifth husband. You're looking for a fifth husband and you ain't even 40 years old. Why should you have five husbands? Well, can I say something? Can I just... You can, no, I'm you can be, answer my question. You can, no, you can answer my question and you can say what you have to say. But you can't, can't just... When I go through all that trouble... Okay. It's kind of rude to just go past my question. You're right. You're right. I'm sorry. I apologize. So the way this scenario looks, you'd be looking for your fifth husband okay. at 35. Why should Why should any woman have five husbands? They shouldn't. That's Thank like you. insane. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So go ahead. Now, you... I'm just. I just. I understand what you're saying, and you're being completely honest with me. I thank you for your honesty. Um. You know. Like I said, my childhood wasn't, um, you know, peaches and cream. I just want to be transparent. You know, I was raped when I was 16 years old, and I had a child, and that's how my life started. Um, you know, throughout the diversity and everything that I've been through in my childhood, um, you know, I feel as though I'm at a place in my life where, you know, I've gotten myself together. Um, financially, um, we don't I, care about your money. I understand. That. I heard you say that to the to the previous person, but so I was just saying that. I want to skip you know, all the so. way to. But that's the point. You guys care about that. It's not right. how men pick. So right. even if I take into consideration your your trauma as a teenager, still right. doesn't change the ultimate fact that you had two more children, right? And you are two hundred and thirteen pounds. <laughs> okay. This okay. is why people think I'm an asshole because I stay on task. No, life, I, I mean, I life, ha- life, life happens to us all. I was just right. speaking with a lady who, uh, who was dealing with uh, her own issue. We all have something, right? But okay. you have to be what a man wants in order okay. for him to give you the highest honor a man can give you. Okay. You gave two men the highest honor you could give a man to have the child. Right. And you didn't require marriage. So why are you requiring it now? Because you feel like you're ready? That's not how that works. I get it. I get it. So if... So what advice do you have for me now? Okay, well, so let me ask you. Okay. Let's just say you believed me. Let's just say you believed me. And I said, ma'am, in order to find a husband, you need to drop down to about 140 pounds. And then after that, you could get married. Would you do it? I would. But I'm going to do it for myself. I'll do it. That's bullshit. That's bullshit? Yeah, you need to do it for us and yourself. See, the instincts are wrong. Every other race of women does stuff to please their men. They say, I'm going to stay fit and thin because these men like it. All women, I'm going to do it for me. That's why y'all are unmarried. Wow. White men ain't rushing to marry you. Do, y'all, do, do other women, groups of women act like y'all do? Are they, are they, do you hear Becky talk about I'm strong and depend on you, you know what I mean? 
What other race of women sit back and tell you all their struggles and traumas and wear them like a goddamn badge of honor? Black women don't own the 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 market on misery and trauma. Mm -hmm. Let me. Now I know plenty of women who came from rural China. Correct. Who could tell? Who what, look at what you're saying and be like, "You live yeah. in the freest country in the world." Right. So my point is, okay. with that attitude, I'm ready to be married now because I'm ready. Okay, then fine. Then what is a man going to get with you? You're ready to be married. Great. What is a man? What does a man get with you being his wife? What does a man get with me being his wife? Mm -hmm. I mean, I I know my place and. I know the roles that I'm supposed to play as a wife. What are those? Um, I would say honor and respect. I would say that would mm -hmm. be my first for me. Um, you know, the typical stuff, cook, clean. Not, I say cooking and cleaning, due respect, it's not special anymore. Um, Hold on, listen, listen okay. what I'm about to say. You got to cook and clean for yourself. Right. So it's not like you get doing that for him. Okay. Honor and respect. Okay. That will be my first honor. Okay. Respect. All right. Here's a more precise question. What do you have a man, what, type, what do you have to offer a man that a man wants that you haven't already offered to another man? So what do I have to offer to a man that I haven't offered already to another? <laughs> That's deep. I mean, mm -hmm. I don't because he'd be the first. He'd be the first person offering you marriage and going through with it. Right. What does he get? That's exclusive. That's exclusive. What? Does See, this is a mind shift. This is this is meant to humble y'all and bring y'all down to reality to realize. Wait a minute. Just because I say I want this and want that, and all, all he gets, what he gets for me exclusively is this vague thing called honor and respect. It's very vague. Cooking and cleaning. I mean, he, I mean he, he, men can cook and clean these days. So, I mean, I'm just, I'm, so you need to understand what, where the men are coming from because okay. the men have to pick. So the men are saying, well, wait a minute. You have three children. Your youngest is 13. Okay, so I don't, I don't get benefit of, you know, having first access to her womb, regardless as to the tragedy and trauma. Get it? Doesn't matter. It's just the reality. Um, cooking and cleaning. I had to learn how to cook and clean because this is a modern world. And how, ma and how, many, meals a, how many days a week do you cook right now? Um, about four. Four out of seven. To be okay. honest, yeah. So you cook half the time right now. Right now. So if you got married. But you I'm doing cook. better. I'm doing better. But if you got married, how many how many meals a week you gonna cook? To be honest, I probably would do um maybe five. Okay, so your husband and then I, so, and then so the husband gets one whole additional meal over your children. Not really a strong value proposition, man. This doesn't sound. See, I'm just, I'm just lining it up. I won't get. Listen, it listen, like listen, listen. Now listen. You already cook four times a week. I want to do an extra meal. I'm right. I want to cook an extra a meal a week for this husband. Now he got to be able, willing to die for me. And he got to be the stepfather to my children, and he got to be willing to do all this other kind of stuff. And he gets a woman who will give him honor and respect, one additional meal a week. And wow. you're 213 pounds. Oh, is that not what you just said? It is what I just said. Okay, so why does it sound so like when you said it, it's like, damn, fuck? Don't you think that sounds like what do you think that sounds to me? Like, well, damn. It's Maybe it's not such a good proposition for the man. Are the children's fathers active in their life? Yes. So they got to. So your husband would have to deal with at least two other men's influence in his own home. Mm. 
Yeah. And he'd be a stepfather. Do you want any more children? Um, it's questionable. Do you want any more children? That's a yes or a no. Possibly yes. Yes, I'm gonna say Do yes. Do you want any more children? I'm gonna Do say want... yes. I'm gonna say Do yes. you want how many more? Probably just one more. Okay. So at best, your husband would get for being a stepfather, get one meal, honor and respect. He'd get one kid, but he'd have to be the stepfather to one, two, three children. So every dime that he spent, every dime he spent on the kids, he'd have to split for four, three kids and one kid. Because he, he couldn't just provide for his kid. He'd have to provide for the other ones too, right? Right. So, so let's say he had a son and he decided Christmas time came and he had $1,000 to spend. Mm -hmm. He'd have to not spend $1,000 on his, his blood He'd have to spend 250 on his blood and then spend 750 on some other man's blood. Oh, shit. Does your, does your BD go and buy your husband's kid a Christmas gift? Bye. Hell no. No. So that's what you ladies are asking men to do. Hey, come over here and provide for my not, your non-biological children instead of your biological children. I give you one and an additional meal and some honor and respect. Yeah, this doesn't sound that good a deal. You need to think about it. From, and what I'm thank you for being playing along with it, but not, but this is how the men think. And then they roll up on you, and it's like, well, damn, can I at least get you to be a dress size four or six? I mean, can I get something? No, you get this because I'm better than I was. Okay. But they ain't getting you at the woods. They're getting you now. Mm -hmm. So when you say I lose the weight for you myself, it's because you used to being by yourself. Right? True. Well, then it'd be better to that man to go find a woman who already has a mindset of interdependence, not independence. So you're not really ready. You just want. No, I am. <laughs> Okay, go back and watch this video. I don't think so. Okay. You're not rude, but you, you want. But Reddy understands that I got a lot that I bring to the table, a lot of what men would call baggage. Mm -hmm. And is what I'm offering, does it offset that baggage? I submit that vague uh, respect and honor and one meal a week additional does not offset all of that. Well, I'll leave it to the men in the comment section. How many men would rush to say, I want to marry a woman and have one child and then split my resources with my one child amongst her other three kids? Is that, that, don't, that don't sound right to you? That, I often wonder how does that sound to women? I mean, when you, seriously, put how, like, when you put it like that, I mean, yeah. I mean, because seriously, though, I mean, how, I mean, think about it. He only gets one kid, so his, his son is one year old, three years old, five years old. And he got $1,000 to spend, and he wanted to spend all 1000 on his boy. You know you'd say something if he didn't buy something for A, B, and C. Then who loses? You don't think... His boy would be like, well, damn, you got daddies too. So you get your daddy's gift and my daddy's gift. And your daddies don't live in this house. My daddy lives in this house. My daddy's paying the rent, lights, phone, gas, groceries, anything else. And I take less as the biological child of my daddy's house with the mint. That don't sound like a good deal for a man, does it? Not really. That's because you're looking for the fifth husband. Okay. You've already had the benefit of five husbands and four husbands. And like we got here to begin with, I, I, I feel sorry for your tragedy, but you understand what I'm saying. Back in the day, to have this many children and to have had sex, you would have had to be married first. Those were the costs. Y'all have skipped all those costs. And now when you decide you want something, you want to, you want to put all the debt onto a man. That ain't cool. Mm -hmm. Just think about it. Okay. Thank Have a good one. Bye-bye.
that was good. I think that was good. I think that was a good example. So, so ladies, when you lost your virginity, husband won. Every, every child was a husband. All them husbands. Husband. You're like, damn, I got all these husbands? Yeah, I got all these husbands. Carmen, Kimmy. Look at, oh, Lord of mercy, Jesus. They are going ham up in here. She said, my name is Big Rudy. Jesus. Oh, wow. Hello. Hello. How are How you? Doing? I'm fine. Your name is? My name is Ray. How old are you? I'm 29. Not the bonnet. The bonnet. Uh, yes, uh, the bonnet. Relaxing. It's 12 o'clock where I am. Okay. So uh, we're talking about two-thirds of dating costs. What do you want to do? Which one? You said two-thirds or what? Yeah, two-thirds, two over three, but something, or dating costs. What are we talking about? Oh, I just joined, so I guess two over three. I don't know what's going on. Well, are you single or are you married? I'm in a relationship. So are you single or are you married? Single, I guess, yeah. Single. Okay. Any children? No. You want to be married? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, how long have you been in a relationship? Um, we've been official for four years. Okay. Um, what's the hold up on marriage? What what's the what's the rush? Common sense. Are you married? And you want to do it with me? I'm just saying, are you married? Okay, see, here's what no, we're about to do. Just, no, here's what we're about to do right here. No, 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 no. No, 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 because you want to you wanna tell I, women. I want to tell your stupid ass to stay off my channel. See, you get these bonnet fools in these four-year dead-end relationships who get mad because ain't nobody going to marry them. And then when you ask them what the problem is, they get mad because they realize they ride with Dirty Dick Rodney and he's just using them for your body. And then when he get tired of you, he's going to go marry the hotter, younger, more cooperative version of you. Don't get mad at me because you're stupid. And guys, that brings us to the end of today's video. Thanks for watching. More respect on the legend, the godfather. May he soon rest in peace and may his name stay alive forever. Guys, continue to watch his videos on YouTube. He has so much amazing videos there. So keep checking it. Men that are looking for male self-improvement videos, he got you covered. And men that are also looking for relationship tips to be able to navigate their way around females in the dating market, especially when it is just rough out there like this, you got to be looking up to someone that is, you know, well known for this type of conversation. And there is nobody better than Godfather, in my opinion. And also, women that are also looking for information to uplift their dating game or to be able to get different results, different outcomes. I think that's the best place for you to be in dealing with ratchet women, you know, young girls that are very disrespectful that come on to disrespect him and all that. He got you covered very entertaining, some very funny, you know, some very difficult to watch, some kind of painful. Just so much going on in his video. So be able to be checking the dealing with feminists and all that. And even I'll also be posting the male version of his videos. And yeah, so stay tuned. But now, talking about the last lady that I just asked him that, is he married? See, marrying women in general are just a distraction to women in general. Because whatever this man said, or the question he asked you, is even in favor of females. Because when a man is delaying your marriage, if a man is delaying taking time to marry you, it affects you as a female. So he asking you, why are you delaying it? Or why is it delaying? So he's even in your best interest. He's doing things in your best interest. But women, somehow, some way, are just always kind of like, things that are going to help them, they are kind of always standing against it. They want relationship, but also they are promoting hookup culture. You know, you just don't get it. To the point that even when they person that you are coming to get information from 
is defending you or saying things that are in your best interest they still don't get it and it sounds kind of insulting or kind of downgrading towards them because if you are with a guy and he's delaying you your time is going his time is not that much wasted because man a man can get to any age and will still be good in the dating market 40 year old man can still be good very good very very attractive to most females it's not the same thing when you turn into a female that is 40 years old so if he's telling you why are you waiting or something like that at 29 and you are asking him is he married if he want to get married he could just get married in the next day men control these things a man can decide okay i want to marry next year a lady cannot decide that because women don't control these things it's men who does it's just like a woman can say today i'll have sex a man cannot say today i'll have sex you might say it because maybe you are having a girlfriend that you are rather sure of it but if you are not having a girlfriend and a lady is not having a boyfriend she can still decide to say today i'll have sex as a guy you can't say anything like that even if you are saying it as to whether or not it's going to happen but women can be rather sure of sex they control it so if they want it at any time they can get it just like men control relationships and they want it at any time they can get it that's why when a man and a woman is negotiating we are always trying to use sex as leverage to get what they are looking for which is relationship from men and men are also looking for looking to use relationship that they know that women want as leverage to get sex from females and that's how it's always been so if he is telling you to hurry up and get it done it means he's in your best interest but because they lack intelligence and because of feminism has told them that okay men and women are the same he asks you this question and you throw the same question back to him if he's not married then why can't he be telling you to you know hurry up and get married he's telling you because you have expired day men don't and talking about the first lady i think i don't know but i'm perceiving her to be a nice person probably she just did not know that this how things would turn up to be and she made a mistake committing all these type of crap around herself that she find herself in right now that it's so sad it's so sad three kids and you having three kids as a female you can't get with an average guy because an average guy cannot provide a lifestyle to these type of kids or to this situation an average guy cannot be able to do it so her problem is just that big it's really big because you'll be looking for an exceptional earner to be able to come in and be able to hold them down and yourself you know it's, it's just sad it's sad but i think she has the right attitude she was not being combative you know <clears throat> hey i'm not saying that she's a nice person but in this video what we've seen she's been a nice person so far let's keep it real guys that brings us to the end of today's video. Thanks for watching. More respect on the legend, the Godfather. May he so rest in peace and may his name stay alive forever. Guys, continue to watch his videos on YouTube. He has so much amazing videos there. Male self improvement is available. Ways to navigate your way around females is also available. Women that are looking for a different outcome, different result, he got you covered. You gotta live in reality to be able to get the kind and caliber of guy that you can get. And guys, always remember to stay focused on your goals. Stay out of trouble until we meet in the next video. Peace. I'm out.